Located north of Los Angeles in San Fernando Valley are a lot of interesting filming locations. Over here is Elliot's house from E.T. Here is Marty McFly's house from Back to the Future. And on this street, they filmed much of Sons of Anarchy. And over here, right next to White Man Airport, the Whitman Airport, is Hanson Dam. A few short months before the Los Angeles flood of 1938, the front page of the Los Angeles Times had a story about the need for a flood control dam in the Tahunga Wash. Starting on March 1st, a series of storms inundated the Los Angeles area with many inches of rain over the course of a few days. This caused massive flooding and millions of dollars worth of damage, and over 100 people were killed. Two dams were planned, the Sepulveda Dam and Hansen Dam. Construction began by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1939, and by 1940, the dam was open. Could they really create a 100-foot-tall, 2-mile-long dam in one year? There were a lot of interesting television shows and movies filmed at Hansen Dam. Here are some examples. Dam! Dam and Diddy! Oh. <laughs> hey, watch that cussing! I'm just playing. It's a dam. It's what it is. I was just looking. Good for you. You should look. Soak her in. Soak in all the damn beauty. Were there any good movies filmed at Hanson Dam? Well, at least one, True Lies. The scene that was shot at Hanson Dam was filmed right here on this corner. Bill Paxton steals the show in this great scene. Let's take a look. <laughs> Russell Carpenter was the director of photography on this film, and he does a great job in this scene. The dam looks just as it did back when the film was shot over 20 years ago. Dams don't change much. There may be a minor continuity issue here and there, but a wise man once said there are plenty of terrible movies with great continuity. It appears they removed the fence and dressed up this corner for the scene. There are some interesting coincidences regarding Hanson Dam and True Lies. Robert Patrick stars as the T-1000 in Terminator 2. That's the movie James Cameron directed just before True Lies. Robert Patrick also stars in Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, another movie shot at Hanson Dam. McGee directed Charlie's Angels Full Throttle and later went on to direct Terminator Salvation. Russell Carpenter was the director of photography for both Charlie's Angels films and True Lies, and he later went on to be the director of photography for Terminator 2, Battle Across Time, a Universal Studios attraction, and James Cameron's next film, Titanic. So how is Hanson Dam as a filming location? It's pretty good. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Just prior to finishing this video, I heard the sad news that Bill Paxton had died. He died too young. His work will live on and he'll be missed. I hope you liked this video. If you know of any other movies or TV shows filmed at Handsome Dam, please let me know in the comments. And if you can think of any interesting filming locations that you would like to see explored, let me know. And thanks for watching.